guys are each going to get a 2018 Camry to build and customize oh. for SEMA. Cool, awesome. huh? Nice. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And all you got to do is just make it better looking than the other guys you're standing with. This is like a unicorn. Uh, we haven't done a lot of Toyotas, and, and to do a, a, this Camry, it's unbelievable how nice this Camry is and how advanced and sophisticated this car is. Denny said, let's do it classy and racy. The Toyota XSE Camry is such a beautiful car to start with. First, we kind of sat down, we looked at the drawings, the renditions they had. You got Kyle Busch, you got Rowdy, so we took this thing and made it a little bit rowdy. He seemed to want to keep a bit of elegance in the car, but also wanted a car that he could take to the track in anger and throw it around and have fun with it. The finish of the paint on Martin Truex's car is a little different than the, the hot rod flat blacks that we've seen in the past. It's something that's it's going to be eye-catching in its own right. It's not super shiny or glitzy, but it has that look to it that will draw people in, and then they'll notice some of the, the subtle details wanted to give it that racy look, so we went with sport buckets. And Recaro has a, a leather sport bucket that we've used in a bunch of the Porsches. We took the factory seats apart and then restitched them into the centers of the black leather race buckets. I have no clue what I'm up against. I've never been to the SEMA show, so I'm excited to get to go. When Denny and I first started talking about it, we said, okay, what's the goal of this car? Is it a competition? And, and Denny's words to me, or it's in a text, is it's always a competition. The most exciting thing of the SEMA project is one, just getting the opportunity. But then to put the collaboration of all the people in and understand the timeline that we had to do it all in. Oh man, uh, let's talk about the deadline. Usually we have two to three months minimum to do a, a vehicle like this. I mean, we really only worked on this two and a half weeks. Favorite point on this build has got to be the fenders with the wheels. That combination of how we were able to take a fender flare set, mold it onto this car, and build a wheel that will actually fit that fender flare, that was probably the most rewarding because of the way it looks. Are we about done here? I gotta go finish this car. 